All right, guys, what is going on? And uh, today I'm actually gonna bring you something I've actually brought in uh, like a, almost a week now, and that is a full-length commentary of uh, you know gameplay commentary. And that is what my channel is based around is gameplay commentaries. Um, you know, I just haven't been doing them lately because I've been putting up some short Moab gameplays, some clips, and stuff like that. And you guys seem to like them, but I also saw two or three comments saying that uh, maybe you should. Um, actually, on my last video, I asked. Uh, do you guys think I'm a good commentator? And I was wondering because, you know, there's a lot of people out there, such as Z-Jars, Man in Black, um, that have really good gameplay, but they're not good at commentating, in my opinion. And uh, they also don't think it either. And uh, there's people out there with good commentary, such as Woody's Gamer Tag, um, the Mark of J. Even though um, Mark of J is pretty good, but Woody's Gamer Tag lacks a bit in his gameplay because he's not the best player out there. Of course, you can't always be the best, but no, he's definitely above average for sure. But you know, there's better gameplay out there, but what people like so much about him is the fact that his commentaries are really entertaining to watch. Same thing with White Boy 7th Street. And uh, I said, well, all right, a couple of you guys want to see me put up a full-length commentary, and you guys seem to really enjoy my commentaries. Um, even though, um, you know, I don't post them like I have been um, in the past week and a half, um, I thought I'd get one up before I uh, go on with my future plans. Which is actually, um, I know some a couple of you guys actually wanted to see some live commentaries. And I actually did record my very first live commentary session. Now it is um, a mix between Free For All and Team Deathmatch, which aren't team-based games. So um, I know you guys are probably going to watch want to watch some like Domination or like some Kill Confirmed. Because that's kind of like what XCAL does. And I think that's what people in general get the uh, overall expectation of a live commentary session. Even though um, that's not what I decided to do. Um, when Black Ops first came out, I made a series called TDM for the win, where I pretty much went step through step um, how to do good in TDM, and how I win almost every single time in TDM without a full party. And uh, I do that by, um, you know, just simple things, and I'm pretty sure I capture that kind of same feeling in this live commentary session, which is kind of what I went for as well. But uh, I do have quite a few games of the live commentary session I think there's like 10 games something like that so expect that uh, in the future in maybe a couple days that I'll be putting up the live comms and uh, I actually want to be able to um, invite some people when I do my live comms that way they can be part of them so if you're a subscriber and uh, you guys um, want to be in some of my videos and you guys can hear yourself talk on the computer like when you listen to the commentaries uh, just kind of like if you guys are aware of Spoon and XCal, you know, how, like kind of how they do it. I'd love to do that. I've been playing with my subscribers actually um, a fair bit lately, which um, you guys are actually beast, man. And I don't mean to be rude when I say this, but I thought that most subscribers weren't really up to standards. And, you know, you always see those guys who enjoy watching the videos, but they're not the greatest at the game. And you know what? That's not a problem. The game's here for fun, right? Um, some players are just better than others and, uh, you know... What can you do? I'm, of course, there's plenty better players than me out there. There's definitely, but um, you know, um, I've been playing with a couple of you guys. Um, when I usually when I invite you guys, I usually just play with one or two subscribers at a time, and uh, or either that or I'll invite you to a full party that I'm already in. But uh, you guys are actually pretty solid subscribers. You guys should be proud of yourselves because you guys have some good skill, that's for sure. But uh. As well, I'm going to be playing um, on the Xbox now with Modern Warfare 3 in a couple days as well. Once I'm uh, back to normal, I get my setup back to normal because I've been moving stuff around a bit, trying to get the right kind of um, feeling um, before I move my desk because it feels weird sometimes when I play, when I move my setup a bit. It's just going to take a little getting used to, so I just have to hook up my uh, second modem again, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. I'm just a bit lazy. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to be part of uh, some videos, then uh, just let me know. And uh, hopefully you guys didn't hear my dog just bark there. He's a, if you guys don't know, he's a beagle. Um, he's only a couple years old. And uh, he doesn't actually bark. He actually howls. Like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, that's the best I can do. But uh, sometimes you might hear him from time to time because he likes to kind of howl at anything for some reason. He'll see his own shadow and start howling at it. He also likes to uh, howl at himself in the mirror. He'll look at himself in the mirror and for some reason think he's a different dog. And uh, he'll actually scare himself, which is, I don't know, it's silly, but um, his name's actually Sergeant. Um, we, everyone just calls him Sarge. We don't actually call him Sergeant. We just call him Sarge, and uh, he's a pretty cool little guy. But um, something else I wanted to actually move on to in this commentary was um, 
you know you guys really seem to like the moabs and i know a couple of you guys um I, I left some links in the descriptions of the last video and you guys actually said oh yeah I already know these channels they're pretty big I uh I put fear crads wings of redemption and I temps in the channel and you guys said well yeah I watch all these videos already and uh I know that but um they're really good moab gameplays um because you guys seem to really like moabs and if you guys want to see more of moabs and I don't always post them because I, I get moabs don't get me wrong I've got I you know I've, I think I've still got six or seven sitting on my hard drive but I don't feel like uploading them all the time because um, the one thing I have about Moab gameplays is that they don't really show true skill. And now don't get me wrong, Moabs do take skill, but they also take bad players on the other team. I guarantee you if you put semi good players that, you know, they've played the game since like, you know, the past couple years, you know, they're 1.5 to 2 KD players. I guarantee you, you won't be getting a Moab. Um, and the reason I say that is that you can't pull off these like game crushing scores against beast players it just doesn't work like that so if that's what you've been trying to do you know you fall, you run into another full party i wouldn't really recommend trying to go for a moab or trying to you know um another thing about that actually um is that if you're trying to get moabs and you're struggling for them i wouldn't recommend going for them every single game if you really want a moab that bad like you can don't get me wrong but if you don't, if you like, you don't get the Moab within the first couple games, you might start getting agitated and, uh, you know, a little bit angry. And I know when I start doing that, um, I start playing worse. So I just take a break, come back in about half an hour if I want to, and uh, you know, I go for them again. But once you start getting them and you get the feel of what it's like to go for them, they're really not that difficult to get. Um, you know, I shouldn't actually say that because. You know, sometimes I go for them and I can't get them myself, so I shouldn't actually say that, but, um, you know, from time to time you'll get one. Um, I actually get them quite often with Assault Streaks, but uh, the one problem I actually have with Moabs is where I was, the point I was actually trying to come across with with this commentary was that um, I see people losing the game and going for Moabs, and I see people not playing the objective and going for Moabs, and that's really the only problem I have with them, and, uh, you know I don't they're not actually a bad thing but anyways this is the end of the commentary hopefully you guys enjoyed this long commentary and you're still here listening to me babbling on about not a whole lot 46 and 3 final score thank you for watching guys 